Okay, how's it going, YouTube? It is your boy, BrokeBoy2000, and today we are back with another video. This is going to be very useful for a game that comes out in mere days by the time you're watching this. FIFA 22, we're going to be looking over every league and the best players you can get at 80 rated minimum all the way up to whatever the highest rated is. So for Lino Messi, it's 93. We're going to be looking at every player from the top five leagues, 80 rated and above, just to see who can possibly make your team at the start. Yes, there will be cheap beasts, but the cheap beasts will go down in price, even though they get lots of hype. But yeah, we'll start with League One, the most hyped league, considering Lionel Messi now plays there. It's going to be very good to see. We've got Messi, obviously, one of the best cards. All these cards you're sort of not really having to worry about. Di Maria is going to be fodder. Varane is going to be fodder. Marquinhos should be good. Hakimi should be good. Ben Yedder will be a beast, like always. Wijnaldum's a good midfielder to start with. Even Volland. He hasn't got the best pace, but you put the right chemstall on him, that'll help him out. Icardi, the same. He's probably a bit more fodder, though. Kimpembe is going to be a beast. Bernat could be very air. Lopez is a goalkeeper. Idrissa Gay, maybe. Delort could be. Yilmaz, the same. And then we've got some of the lower guys, like your Milik. Too slow. Mandanda's too short. Good attacking midfielder, Lucas Paqueta. Good all-round midfielder, Awa. Paredes is that bit too slow. Same with Andre. Shadows can obviously put them up. Fonte, stay clear. Danilo Pereira, eh. Laborde could be a good budget card if you're looking for a striker. Payet's just too slow for a winger. He'd better be suited as a cam. Bamba, good cheap left mid. Lopez, again, could be nice. Gerson couldn't be, might not be that bad. 80 rated rare. He's going to be a good, well-rounded beast. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe. Let me know down below what would you like to see for FIFA 22. Because it's coming out in a mere few days, and it'll be good fun. We do a lot of streams on it. Link in the description, like always. And, yeah, make sure you tune in for that. We'll put the highlights on here. But it'll be good stuff. Renato will be nice and well-rounded. Denier is going to be a tank. 83 pace at centre-back. They're boosting the centre-backs this year. And Draxler could be a bit air. Okay. So that is that is the League 1. We'll be back in a second with another league. Okay, and next we've got the Bundesliga. We're going in terms of ratings on the cards. That's why Lewandowski's here. Now... Goalkeepers, I'm not really going to touch on anymore, because goalkeepers are hit and miss. We'll see how goalkeepers are early on in gameplay, but, yeah. Lewandowski, he's very good. He can shoot, put a bit of pace and passing on him. He'll be a good quality player to use throughout the year. Kimmich, nice and well-rounded. Needs that bit of a pace boost, though. Haaland is going to be an absolute unit. That high pace and his height and his physicals are just going to make him one of the best cards. Goretzka is going to be someone that I think a lot of people are going to get. Him and another card that we'll touch on later in the video. Muller is alright, he's just a bit too slow. He's got good stats outside of that, but he's just a bit too slow. He'll be fodder, like always. Komen is going to be a good card. Is he deserving of an 86 rating? Don't know, but he has it. And then Hormels is just too slow to use at centre-back. There's a lot of the underrated beasts that you can use instead. Gnabry, right mid. He'll probably be fodder. He's not the quickest, but I'm sure he'll be good for a few weeks to start with. Marco Royce, again, too slow. No stam, just not good enough. Andre Silva could be a good beast to use. Leroy Sane will be good for the links, of course, especially being a right mid. It'd be better if he was left mid, but it is what it is. Kostic is okay, but he's not going to be used for very long because he's going to get outdated. Guerrero is a decent-ish left-back, but he's got 58 physical. Yeah, I don't think so. Sabitza, decently well-rounded. Good stuff. Ginter, just a bit too slow, unfortunately. Kramaric, I mean, the two strikers here are just too slow. You can put some pace on them, but it's not really going to change much. And Weghorst is very tall in-game. Angelino is not that good. He's got 70 physical and 76 defending which isn't that good for a fullback. Hernandez, if you want to play three at the back, you can play him at left back and he'll transition into a centre back for you. He's very good. Witzel's just too slow. 
Hazard is okay. Davies is obviously one of the best fullbacks in the game to pick up. 96 pace. His defending stats are so-so, but you can always put a chem style on him. Emery Chan, one of the better rated cards to use early on, especially if you can't afford the likes of a Goretzka. Neuhaus is okay. You have to put a few stats on him. Umpa Makano, 81 pace at centre-back. Sule, only 65. Jesus Christ, they butchered him. Don't know if that's his actual stats. But then we've got Stindle, who's just too slow. Danny Olmo again. A lot of these kinds are too slow. Mukiele, another one you might want to use at centre-back if you really want. Diaby, nice and quick on the wing, which is what you're looking for. You're looking for quick, technical dribblers. Then you've got Campbell, who's okay, but he's just too slow. Same with a lot of these guys. There's a lot more in the Bundesliga. Lima is a good option if you really want someone. Tap Sober's going to be nice. Orban, 49 pace. You're not really using him, are you? He's going to get burnt by just about every card on the game. And Kulku, decently rounded attacking midfielder. Barant is very nice. Royce, that's class. Forsberg. See, a lot of these cards are too slow. Marlin will be a good starter player to use. Baku, if you want to put someone at right back. I mean, he's got 70 defending and 75 physical, so you might have to up that. Lima isn't much better. Then we've got Taliso. A lot of these cards just don't have any pace. Zakari is a good one, and he's only 80 rated this year, so should be interesting. Same with Akanji. You get that Akanji and Babu Zakaria triangle. Klosterman 85 pace will be one of the budget beasts to pick up. Play and Schick. Interrig is not the worst either, but yeah. The main attributes you're looking for are good stuff, and we're done with the Bundesliga, so we'll be back in a second with another league. Kevin and Babu, beast by the way. Alright gents, this will arguably be the longest portion of the video because it's the Prem, and I want to preface, if you're going to build a started team, the Premier League cards will go for far more just because of many things. The Premier League tax is one of them, but links are seemingly better this year. Ronaldo, 87 pace, decent shooting, very good shooting, very good dribbling. De Bruyne, is decent, is very good for a midfielder. Harry Kane, he'll bang the goals in, but he's not that quick. 80 pace with a catalyst should be good enough. Kante, what, probably one of the premier DMs. Not your likes of your Goretzka, he's quite short, but you can get around it. Mo Salah, one of the premier wingers. Mane the same, 91 pace. Hyung Min Son is going to be broken like always. Then we've got VVD who's massive in game, and he's got 78 pace and 91 defending. That is going to make for a wonderful, wonderful mix. Lukaku, decent pace, very good shooting, very good physicals. He's very tall in game as well. He'll be good fun to use if we can get a hold of him. Raheem Sterling, maybe. Four-star, three-star, so not the best. Bruno is going to be nice. Those free kicks should be sexy. Sancho... He's not the quickest for a winger, but I'm sure you can make it work if you really want to. Alexander-Arnold, not the best stats for a fullback. So maybe you're looking to use him as more of a right mid or a centre mid if you really want. Robertson, decent stats for a fullback, but again, he's 87 rated. He does not have a single stat at 87. It just makes no sense. Then we've got Pogba, who's decently well-rounded. A shadow on him actually turns him into a bit of a beast. Because he's got all his shooting and passing and dribbling stats at decent levels. Ruben Diaz is just too slow. He's going to be fodder. I hate to say it, but one of the premier defenders in the league is going to be fodder. Because he's got 61 pace. Jamie Vardy still maintains decent pace. 85 pace, 84 shooting. Riyad Mahrez, 90 dribbling. That's a bit of a dub. 5 star, 4 star as well. Jao Cancelo, 85 pace. That'll be good. Thiago... Again, he'll probably be fodder because of his stats. Fabinho, just too slow, I'm afraid. Same with Rodri. They're good defensively, but they're just not quick enough. Laporte, much the same. Varane is going to be one of the go-to players if you're looking to build a starter team. You have to get Varane. 82 pace from the Premier League. Bernardo Silva is a cam now, so that might help reflect his stats and make him easy to link. Cavani is okay. He's just a bit too slow. Aubameyang... 85 rated, he'll be one of the more expensive 85 rated, I imagine, given the fact he's got so much pace, and the fact he plays in the Prem. 
Then we've got Walker, who obviously people might play at centre back, who knows? 92 pace, 80 defending, 82 physical. Rashford only an 80 stays at an 85, sorry. 90 pace, 84 shooting, 5 star, 3 star on the card. Then we've got Gundogan, who's not going to be that good. He's got 65 pace. Jorginho, 55 pace. Firmino could be alright as like a centre forward or a centre mid, but he's not the best, realistically. And Didi, if you put the right chem style on him, he'll be a beast in the midfield. Thiago Silva's just too slow. Timo Werner in front of goal should be fun. Hakim Ziyech, maybe. He'll be good for a few weeks. A lot of these cards will be good for a few weeks, and then they'll just get passed really quick, because EA just released constant promos, and it ruins the game. Pereira, decent-ish. 83 pace on a fullback. You'll want probably sub 80 pace, but the higher the better, obviously. Grealish should be a cam. He's got decent stats, but he's not that good for an 84 rated card. Digne... Hasn't got a single stat at 84. Luke Shaw, the same, but they're trying, aren't they? They're really trying. Tillemans is alright. He's got 63 pace. He's got low, low work rates, so you've really got to try and make it work. Dear me, that's not going to be easy. Henderson, again, just not good enough. He's got high, high. Maguire, high, l Maguire, high, high as well. That's not going to be good for someone with 50 pace. Phil Foden looks to be one of the better attacking midfielder cards. Kai Havertz is up there as well, but Havertz has low, low, and Foden has high, low, so I would go towards Havertz. Raul Jimenez, he's just not, he's slow, but you can make it work, I guess. He's high, high, so you're probably not looking to play him as a lone striker, unless you're looking to feed the ball to your wingers. Gabriel Jesus, the pace gets low and low every year. He's got 4-star, 3-star, high-low, 84 pace, 86 dribbling. You can make it work. Bisaka, one of the better ones. Decent work rates, decent defending, decent pace. Jordan, actually, I'm not going over keepers, even though Pope's 83 rated. Party and Kovacic, you can make them work. Party's good for the more defensive-minded midfielder role. Kovacic will just be like your standard centre mid. <laughs> and then we've got Fernandinho, who's just too slow. Allen will be one of the better options. Hoiberg, again, he's just too slow. They have good stats. I'm not backing... I'm not disagreeing with the stats, but they're just too slow. Like, 70 pace, you can make work on a Cinemac. The work rates stink, though, on Stones. As is just too short, and he's got bad work rates. Rudiger has great work rates, great pace. He'll be one of the go-tos, I reckon, for a lot of people early. Matip, low, low, too slow. Mason Mount is all right. Richarlison... Could be one of the budget options. Boost that shooting, turn you into a bit of a tank. Lacazette, much the same. But you got to boost that pace as well. Ferran Torres is okay. Rafinha, one of the pacier boys on the wing for cheap. Bailey, the same. They play in the same position, though. Chilwell, one of the more rounded fullbacks. But he's not that good, unfortunately, which does stink. Jota... Could be a beast. Four star, five star, so a lot of people will turn to him for skill moves and weak foot. Pulisic, 89 pace, low, low work rates. Zaha, high, low, 89 pace, five star, three star. Pulisic is four star, four star. Alex Tejas could be okay. Then we've got who? Saul is going to be one of the better, well rounded options. Ruben Neves, as much as I love him in real life, he's just too slow. His work rate's all be nice, but he's just too slow. Suchek, again, he's pretty big in game. 74 pace if, with Shadow might be manageable, but who knows? Declan Rice, the same. He might not be that good. Romero is going to be one of the good centre backs to use. Gomez, we know, is a tank. And Bele is going to be a tank as well. Even though he's only got 69 defending, a Shadow on him should bump that up. Madison is going to be one of the better attacking midfielders. Odegaard, 5 star, 2 star, weak foot. With 77 pace, 74 shooting, and a bunch of others. Danny Ings is going to be one of the cheaper options, I think. Martial, 87 pace. Medium, medium work rates on a striker, a bit yikes. Calvert-Lewin could be one of the undervalued ones, but he's quite tall in games, so that might take away. Reese James, eh, you can go for him, I guess. Lucas Moore is going to be nice. Ames Rodriguez is just too slow. 
53 pace. They've done that man dirty. Nicholas Pepe again, but it's the same sort of thing. There's a lot of players in that position for the Prem, and it's going to be hard to pick. So pick whoever you like. Who wins the Premier League right winger debate for you? Sound in the comments. Kukurea is well-rounded, but what are you going to use him for? Harvey Barnes is okay at the left mid. Regulion will be probably the go-to left back for a lot of people. Lo Celso could be a shout, I reckon. Van der Beek, maybe. Ward Prowse, too slow, unfortunately. Fred could be okay. Don't know what his build's like. Calvin Phillips, again, he's a bit slow, but I suppose you can make it work. Zuma, 65 pace on a cinematic. You need to bump that up a bit. Tarkowski won't be doing much. Semedo has had his pace butchered. He still should be okay if you put the right stats on him. Saka will be okay at the right mid. He won't be the best. Kufal, the same at right back. Johnny Otto, he hasn't got a single stat at 80, and he's somehow an 80 rated guard. Jesus Christ. Bergwijn is going to be one of the more expensive 80 rated. Tierney, 80 rated as well. Then we've got. Zinchenko, who's well-rounded, but not quite a good defender. Martinez, too slow. Cater, McTominay, they'll be average, I reckon. But these are all personal preference. These are all personal preference. Lindelof, not that good. Keane, not that good. Siochu is a go-to. Ogbonna's not that good. Christensen, eh. Same with a lot of these guys. Deli Alley. Could be okay. Vlasic will be one of the underrated cards. He signed for West Ham. 83 pace, 82 dribbling, and decent stats outside of that. Antonio should have got a player of the month. Actually, that's, I shouldn't be doing that. But, yeah, that is the Premier League. We'll be on to the next league. We've got two leagues to go, lads. The La Liga and the Serie A. Okay, and now we have the La Liga. We've got Benzema, who's got alright pace. Goalkeepers, we're not looking at the first three rule goalkeepers. Casemiro, he's a bit slow. You could upgrade it, but Benzema's got low, low work rates. Well, that's not going to be useful. Suarez, he's going to be fodder again, isn't he? He's just got decent ish pace, good shooting, good dribbling, good passing. Three star, four star, high, low work rates. Tony Kroos, not usable at all. I'm sorry. They do Tony Kroos dirty most years. Aguero, eh. He'll be okay, not the best. Modric could be usable. Who knows? De Jong will be one of the go-tos for a lot of people. Moreno will probably just be fodder. He's got decent snats, but people aren't going to use him outside of the first few weeks, are they? Alba is one of the, probably the go-to left-back for a lot of people in the La Liga. Llorente is a must. He is one of the top two with Goretzka in terms of cards that people will be picking up. Parejo is going to be fodder. Same with Busquets, just too slow. Not good enough to be using. Griezmann will be one of the more expensive 85s because of his links and who he plays for and his stats, even though he's low, low. Carvajal is alright. Don't know if you're really going to use him. He's probably just the go-to for his stats. Eden Hazard, again, one of the higher rated 85s. He'll be decent-ish. about the same. Koke. Eh. That pace needs a bit of an upgrade. Depay has been done absolutely dirty. Don't know how he gets so poor. Gomez will be okay. David Silva, not good enough. Aspas, maybe. Trippier, he hasn't got good enough pace, does he, unfortunately. Hazel Snavas is okay, but he's just a bit short. I suppose that doesn't matter at right back, to be fair. Carrasco is going to be one of the good La Liga wingers. Acuna, people think of him at centre mid now because of his fo festival of foot guard, if you remember. He is nice and well-rounded, but he made of a job at left back. Fernando is okay. David Alaba is going to be one of the premier centre backs in La Liga. It is raining outside. That is not good. PK, not good enough. If he gets a good SBC, then who knows, but at the moment he's 58 pace, 84 rated. Felipe the same, not that good. Jimenez could be usable, 69 pace, 86 defending. I suppose he'll be a go-to for a lot of people. Savage, just not quick enough. Fakir is a bit eh. Correa, probably one of the better cards in the 83 and below range. Dembele as well. Asensio is just there, really, isn't he? A Campos is just there. A lot of these cards are just there. Mendy will be an absolute tank. Play him at centre-back. Play him at left-back. 
you'll get whatever you want from him. Gaia will be okay. As Marino is nice and more rounded. He's one of the cheaper options. Canal is much the same. Valverde is another one that you've got to steer towards. Felix is going to be nice early. Kunde is the same. Munyain is just there. Isaac's going to be one of the 82 rated beasts, I reckon. There's going to be a few. And Nezri could be okay. He's got decent dish stats. He's 3 star, 4 star. Portu is a good La Liga right winger if you need that hybrid off to another league. It's currently hailing outside. Dear God. Not the best. Suso is... Not that good. Bale's okay, but he doesn't warrant an 82 rated card, really. Bashish is okay. Neto. I'm going over goalies. DePaul is actually well rounded enough. Pjanic does not play at Barca. He plays for Besiktas, if you've been following the news. Campana is just not that good. He's too slow. Same with the Rakitic. Hermosa is going to be good at centre back with the work rates and with the pace and whatnot. Militao as well. Palista could be usable. Carlos will be, definitely. Same with Longley. How is Longley only 82 rated? Last year, he was 85. That is a rip-off for Longley. Then we've got Pau Torres, who, again, could be usable. All these Cinemax with good work rates. Then Raul Alvio with 40 pace. Yeah, you won't be using him. Coutinho, he's not quick enough, but I suppose you can make it work with the right cam style. Isco, much the same. Morales will be one of the cheaper beasts. Inaki Williams the same, if you see a couple of those guys running the likes of Williams and Morales, that'll be good fun. Alcasa could be okay, he is 3 star, 4 star with low medium work rates, so I'd probably steer clear. Vasquez is just a well-rounded player, you can probably use him like a centre mid. Yanazai, not that good. Yara Queen, not much the same. Roberto, will do a job, I guess. Machis is a good lip winger to use, so is Guedes. Underrated left back, Renan Lodi. We've got... who else? Hector Herrera and Carlos Soler, they'll be okay. Herrera's okay. Pedri is... he's really not that good. There's a lot of hype around him, he's got this big upgrade, and he's just not that good. Delaney could be usable for Sevilla. Then we've got Inigo Martinez, who could be a good card. Yurai, maybe. Nacho Fernandez is definitely one if you're looking for someone early. Dejene, you could do something with. Raul Garcia is just not good enough. Roger, you can probably get away with. Like, a lot of these cards are hit and miss. Like, these two strikers here, not good enough. And Barber, you can't really be using. There's certain stats and certain attributes you just see in the cards and they don't work. Like... Wass will be good, well-rounded. Kappa, maybe. Oh, Kappa, good one. Versaiko could be a good one. Vinny Jr. will be one of the best wingers in La Liga, just because of his pace and his dribbling. Marcelo is getting more and more underrated, overrated every year. He's not that good, steer clear. Monreal, the same. And then we have... Coquelin, who you can use. Joan Jordan, the air. Bartra is okay. Um, TT is 65 pace, so maybe, same with that, and then Nunez, I guess. Like, you probably want 70-ish pace on your centre-backs, and then, like, 76, 78 on your strikers. So, Avia will be good, 3-star, 5-star, 4-star, 4-star on Lucas Perez. Remember when he played for Arsenal? De Thomas, high low, 75 pace. Luka Jovic, not that good. Luke De Jong, 50 pace, yes, steer clear. I'm getting into the wrong stuff now, but anyway, anyway, we're on to the final league, lads, the final league of the video, the CDR, I'll be back with you in a moment. And we are in the final league of the video, the Serie A, it's probably one of the underrated leagues every year, but this year there's just not as much hype, because the players aren't that good, the highest rated at the moment is 87 rated, not that good. I'll leave a link to the database as well if you want to build your squads and send them over. But, yeah, Immobile actually looks not bad. He's 3-star, 4-star, high-low, 86 pace, 87 shooting. He'll be very good for what he is, but not many people are going to use him, I reckon. Dybala is okay. He'll be good. Good little attacking mid. Insigne, he's a bit short, but I suppose he can get away with it in the position he plays. Skriniar will be one of the go-tos, apparently he's being linked with a week one in form as well, so he'll be out of packs, but you'll make him whatever. Chiellini's gonna be fodder, he's probably not quick enough, 
Koulibaly is very nice. Letaro, you can get away with. Four star, four star. Savage is going to be nice and well-rounded. Bonucci can't be really be using. Delict, you can probably get away with. Same with Devry. Don't know if you will be, though. Then we've got Zlatan, who... You can use him off the bench, I reckon. If crossing's viable, he'll be good. But he hasn't got enough pace, or probably enough stamina. Hernandez is going to be one of the go-to left-backs for anybody, not just Serie A. Then we've got Barea, who is decently well-rounded. Hopefully he wins Player of the Month and gets a better upgrade. Ilicic is another one of those. You can probably play him in, like, a cam or a centre-forward role. Mertens is okay. Brozovic is... Eh, he's nice and defensive-minded, which is good. Kessie's one of the go-tos. That triangle with Kessie, Hernandez, and Tomori will be good. Hernan Luke Luis Alberto, why did I say Hernandez, is too slow, but you can get away with it, I guess. He's got low, low work rates, though, so steer clear. Same with Morata for some reason. He's got decent shooting and decent pace, but he's just too slow. I mean, not too slow, shit work rates. Then we've got Jekko, again, low, low, 66 pace. Decently tall, 83 shooting. Zapata is eh. He'll be fodder, I reckon. Chiesa could be okay, 91 pace, 85 dribbling. Decent in that position. Quadrado is a right back. He's got decent pace, very good pace. Defensive stats a bit mudded. Spinazzola left wing back, nice and well rounded. Decent pace as well, so you probably chuck a defensive chem style and that'll help. Spin. And then we've got Gozens, who is okay. You'll probably look to shift him to a left-back role if you really need to. Then we've got Sandro, one of the better left-backs, but he's not that good. Then we've got Arthur, who's okay. Mikatarian is very nice. 85 pace, 5-star weak foot, 83 dribbling. He'll be a good cam to use. A lot of these guys just don't scream usable. Manolas and Muriel, I would go for. Berardi, probably stick clear. Dumfries is going to be very usable. Very good strength early. A lot of the cards that come out will not be very strong. So Dumfries is going to be good to just shift the ball off the ball. If you go down the Dutch Syria route. Anterebic could be usable, of course. Fabian, just too slow. He's well rounded, but he's just too slow. Ericsson, again, too slow. A lot of these cards are too slow. They boosted centre-backs, but they haven't boosted much else. So it just takes away from everything. And it ruins what you're doing. Like, Arnautovic could be a usable card early. Who knows? Belotti the same. Lazzari could be good on the wing-back. Oh, shit. He'll be a wing-back. That's not that good. Kuluzewski is a bit eh, really, isn't he? Lozano will be a good go-to. I'm guessing Florenzi is solid. He's not that good, but he'll get the job done. I'm trying to think of cards that are usable. Vidal has no pace. I guess he's well-rounded, but he's got no pace. Rabio decently well-rounded. Same with Zielinski outside of his physicals, but you're not really looking at physicals, are you? Correa, Yao Queen Correa will be good. If he has low, low work rates in-game, that's going to be shocking. I don't know if the work rates have been updated. Better 2 could be right. 56 pay Lucas the Eversteer clear. Pellegrini, maybe. Osterman will be a good beast to use early. Hatabor, maybe, as like a tracking back right mid. Callihon, he's had his pace butchered. Di Lorenzo, probably steer clear, even though he's got decent dish pace and decent dish defending. Then we've got Ben Asser, who doesn't look that good. Stay away. Pereira could be a better attacking minded mid. Stay the hell away. Aaron Ramsey, not that good. Sensi, Sanchez, I mean, a lot of these cards aren't that good. Torreira, just a bit short. Deme's got no pace. A lot of these cards have no pace, which just sucks. And now we're at the back end of the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your starter team is going to be in the comments, lads. I'll be up with episode 1 or episode 0 0.5 of Wolves to Glory very soon after the game comes out. We'll be doing a live pack opening on stream after I get my hands on the game and after I get my hands on some packs. But yeah, it's been good fun chatting with you guys, looking at these players. Like I say, get in the comments, let me know what you're thinking, and I will catch you all in the next one.